this day six. I'm almost at a week of videos and that's so exciting to me because I didn't even think I would make it this far without like missing a day or being late so yay me. Um, you saw yesterday's vlog, it was super long so I'm not going to make today's that long hopefully. I didn't even realize I got like that much footage. Like when I showed you guys the time, I had already edited out almost six minutes worth so it was at like 25 minutes before then. <sighs> Just so crazy. So. Right now I am making hot chocolate and then I have to edit a video to go up today. So the tag video that I filmed yesterday is what I'm going to put up today because I realized if I put up the tutorial today, next week I only have two tag videos ready to go up so next week would be two tag videos so I didn't want to do that so this week I'll do a tag, next week it'll be the t tutorial and then a tag. So. Yeah, I'm like running out of breath. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I have to edit that video and then I am going to start my laundry because I wanted to do that yesterday. I just didn't get around to it. Um, what else? What else? What else? And then after my laundry, I'm going to paint my nails. And I talked about these in the tag video that I filmed yesterday that's going up today so you'll probably see me talk about the one nail polish in that video before you see this video but I'm using the Sally Hansen red carpet nail polish it's a really sparkly you can't really see the sparkles in this but yeah it's a super like shimmery sparkly red and I'm like layering it over just like a regular red color and I just wanted to show you guys the hot chocolate that I'm making today I'm doing the coffee crisp by Nestle it comes in this huge well not huge box but a large box of hot chocolates different flavors this is like my hot drink drawer there's like a bunch of teas and Tasmo things David's tea this is the Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee really really good so this is like kind of a jumbled mess but that's just from the drawer being open and closed so much so I'm going to mix this up so just to make this extra rich I'm adding a bit of just plain um, cocoa powder just because I want this to be more of like a dark chocolate hot chocolate so I'm just adding about a tablespoon and a half I'd say this is in like about a, a cup and a half of milk. And this clearly does not want to mix as well. That's okay. Do you guys hate those clumps that end up at the top of your hot chocolate when you make it from a powder? I hate that and so I always like press them against the side to like break them up and then I stir it again. Okay, so I finally got all of my laundry sorted and I'm going to show you guys the ridiculousness that is my laundry every time I do it because I have a very particular way of separating my laundry. I don't like to put colors like green and red together. I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you because it's it's a little ridiculous, I'll admit. Okay, so starting over here, this is one bedding set. It's like a duvet cover and a couple sheets and pillowcases. That is a comforter. So those are probably going to be done last. But over here, I have like brown things because I I feel like my black load is so big that I just I can't mix anything else into it. So I have browns there, whites are in that basket, black stuff in that one grays in there because like, like I said my black load is already so huge over there I just have a couple of throws and over here I have blues greens and purples all in one load although that's looking a little bit big so it might be two loads but yeah so like that kind of color scheme goes together and then over there I have reds pinks and oranges in one load so if you guys are also like that and you like to sort your clothes like that please let me know because I feel like I'm the only person that does that. Like, I don't like to just put a load of colors in. It has to be, like, different types of colors. So I'm going to bring my first load down into the laundry room. I think I'm going to start with black stuff, just get that load out of the way. 
and then I'll move on to everything else. So this should be super fun. Okay, so I ended up not even really drinking my hot chocolate because it just wasn't what I wanted. I'm really craving something cold and refreshing and fruity, so I'm going to make kind of like a peach mango smoothie. So we'll see how this goes. I don't have any like orange juice or anything, so I'm using diet cranberry soda. That's like the closest thing to juice I have right now. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in it, and we'll see how it turns out. So what I've done is added a cup of the diet cranberry sparkling soda and just a ton of peach. I actually don't even have any frozen mango so that's just all peaches in there and then I think a few pieces of pineapple so I guess we'll turn this on. I don't think this is on right. There now it is. Okay so we're going to turn this on and see what I get. I haven't made a smoothie in so long you guys like I feel so out of practice. I feel like I'm missing something. But, I mean, they're frozen fruit, and I don't like it to be super icy, so I didn't add any ice yet. So, we'll see. Okay, so I ended up squeezing about, not quite this entire little quarter of a lemon into it. And I also found this juice in the back of the fridge, so I just added probably a quarter cup of it. And I already tasted it, and you guys, this is so good. I would probably, next time, use cranberry juice instead of cranberry soda, but it's not... It's a really good combination. I love the the um, the peach and the cranberry. It's just a, it's just so so good. So it's very slushy, but it's not like super icy and thick. It's I don't know. It's like a good slush. So I like that. It's seriously so good, you guys. You need to go and make a peach cranberry smoothie. So I wanted to ask you guys something. Excuse my hair, I have it in a messy top knot. I didn't even end up like curling or styling my hair after yesterday. Not even for my videos because I actually thought that it looked really cute in the video. But now it's like super messy and just crazy. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys because I'm thinking about doing a 5 day juice cleanse. Because I've been watching like the Shea Tarts. I mean I watch them all the time. But um, Shea is doing a 5 day juice cleanse. And my mom has a juicer and she said that I could borrow it just to see if I would actually want one like in the future. Um, because I think it, I don't know, it just looks really cool. Like you can like customize your drink and I think for a week before the holidays, the holidays, Christmas, one holiday, and I guess New Year's too, but I'm, I don't really have any plans for New Year's yet. So I really want to try it and I just wanted to know if you guys have ever juiced, have ever juiced before. And if you have, let me know if you liked it and what your favorite maybe combinations were because, yeah, I really, I really want to do it. So, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking the week before Christmas and then, yeah, then I'll, I'll maybe buy a juicer in the new year if I like it. So, yeah, I'm just turning on my computer. It's loading up. So I can edit today's beauty video that's going up. It's a tag video, which you will see before you even see this video. So go check that out. And yeah, I got my first load of laundry in the washer. I don't know if I'll vlog much after this because my day is just going to consist of laundry. And oh, I want to tell you guys, this weekend's vlogs will be more exciting than today's. Um, because I'm going to my cousin's house, my aunt's house, to see my little cousins. My mom and I are going. We're staying overnight tomorrow night. Tomorrow is Saturday. And we are going to be baking cookies and I'm making a gingerbread house with them. So that should be exciting. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys, so after reviewing the footage that I already got for today, I feel very comfortable with the amount that I shot and since yesterday's vlog was so long I didn't want today's to go too long so I'm actually going to say goodnight now. It's about 5 o'clock and honestly I'm not even going to be doing anything else vlog worthy today. I'm just doing my laundry, getting my stuff packed for going to my cousin's tomorrow and editing my videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!